A green building is one that reduces or eliminates negative impacts and creates positive impacts on our climate and natural environment during its design, construction, and operation. Green building contributes to healthier houses for both people and the environment. Will altering the way we build buildings lower energy use? What are net zero and green buildings? What does it do exactly? How about walls made of fungus? What if we changed the way we construct our office buildings and skyscrapers and were able to significantly reduce our energy consumption? Imagine a tower with smart windows and fungus-based walls. Let us examine green building and the future of the construction sector. The construction of homes and buildings requiring hundreds of pounds of steel, concrete, and other materials is a major contributor to pollution and energy use. The lighting, heating, and cooling systems, poor insulation, and integration of our houses and offices into the environment all have a long-term effect on energy use and costs. In 2019, 28% of energy-related CO2 emissions came from buildings. We require certain changes in the way we construct our homes, workplaces, and skyscrapers in order to lessen that issue. Green and net zero buildings can help with this. The purpose of these buildings' design and construction is to have a positive effect on the environment and climate. They can cut power consumption, help the environment, and enhance the quality of life for individuals who live or work in those buildings by combining energy efficiency and renewable energy. Around the world, the idea of green building has expanded from modest homes to sizable offices and skyscrapers. To offer precise instructions on how to do so, some international certifications have been produced. The Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, also known as LEED, was created by the U.S. Green Building Council to grade green buildings and give owners a framework for low-cost, high-efficient construction. The UK's Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Method, or BREAM for short, is another well-known accreditation. Over the past 10 years, examples of green and net zero buildings have become more prevalent all over the world. For instance, Siemens constructed the crystal in London, one of the greenest structures ever built. It sets the bar for environmentally friendly building design by receiving the platinum lead and outstanding BREAM certifications. The Bullet Center is regarded as one of the greenest commercial structures in Seattle. Outside the box thinking and unorthodox materials are being explored by researchers and designers. Mycelium, a type of fungus spore, is one such substance that has potential. Mycelium may be used to fill a form with an agricultural product, and the end result is a solid brick or plate. However, this is currently in the experimental stage. This composite requires less energy to produce and contains no harmful ingredients. The Living Studio in New York and Ecovative Design collaborated to create a project using this material. The Hi-Fi Project Tower is about 12 meters tall and is composed of 10,000 bricks made of mushroom mycelium and shredded corn stalks. After three months of the event, the building was taken apart and the bricks were decomposed into compost, exploiting their natural biodegradability. NASA is researching the use of mycelium to construct buildings in order to develop habitats on the Moon and Mars. It can regenerate and repair itself, has better bend strength than reinforced concrete, and is a fantastic insulator. If it's good enough for Martians, why not us? Electrochromic glass or smart glass, a new technology that combats solar radiation and its heat, is one such example. It uses nanotechnology to generate tiny electrical signals that slightly charge the windows, changing how much radiation they reflect. This technology might make it easier to manage the temperature inside a building, which could result in significant HVAC expense savings, especially during the summer. When an electrical charge is applied, smart windows often begin as a bluish color before becoming transparent after a short period of time. Some companies have been developing and producing this technology. For instance, View Inc., an American manufacturer of smart windows, used 56,200 square feet of their smart glass in a project for Netflix's Los Gatos, California office. This project utilized a predictive automated system that can be adjusted and controlled through an app. There are many options and methods for enhancing how we construct our buildings and use energy to keep them pleasant, but the expenses are still not accessible to everyone. In the coming decades, it's not hard to picture high-rise structures and office complexes with green roofs and zero energy popping up in more and more cities, similar to Apple Park, the biggest LEED Platinum certified structure. Even if we're never able to attain 100% sustainability, the goal is to do as much as we can. 
Constructing green buildings is one way to reduce environmental damage and help create a more sustainable future for the next generation. What impact will green building have on the future of the construction industry? Comment below. For updates on our next videos, please be sure to subscribe and click the notification button.